In the world of criminal investigations, extracting confessions from suspects can be a difficult and time-consuming task. Detectives frequently use a variety of techniques and strategies to uncover the truth, attempting to penetrate a suspect's defenses and elicit an admission of guilt. However, in rare cases, the truth comes pouring out in a whirlwind, astounded investigators by the speed with which suspects confess their crimes. What causes some suspects to confess to their crimes in record time, unraveling their guilt at breakneck speed? Some of them are ignorant, like Raymond Gates, an Ohio man sentenced to nine years in prison for the rape of a 17-year-old, who tried to justify his crime by blaming everyone but himself, but instead ended up confessing his crime before he knew it. Raymond's police testimony exemplifies how perpetrators frequently attempt to deflect responsibility for their crimes. According to police documents, Marina Lonina, 18, live-streamed a Periscope video in which she yelled, No, it hurts so much. Please stop and please no. Lonina received a nine-month prison sentence for obstructing justice. According to a police interview summary, Raymond told Detective Brent Close of the Columbus, Ohio Police Department it was consensual. Yes, everything is fine, she says. She is fine with kissing. She's cool with us getting naked. She's cool with us being there. Then all of a sudden, you know, a couple of seconds before, I mean, I'm sure. That's what happens. Girls are like, oh, it's just going to hurt and stuff like that, Raymond said. He added, she just got like the last second, like I don't want to do this. Then we start doing it and everything was cool. This girl came back to my house. She's 18. She's a virgin. She's telling me she wants to lose her virginity. Man, like she's ready to do it and everything. And then right a couple seconds before, she is like, I don't know, and stuff like that. I mean, that's how girls feel when they lose their virginity, Raymond said. I'm not a rapist. I'm a good guy. I've only been with a few women. I am not a rapist, he said in a police interrogation video. After I'm inside of her, she's like, stop. I'm already inside of her at that point, man, he continues. It hurts when a girl gets her virginity taken. This accusation is news to me, buddy. Raymond could not have provided a valid excuse to anti-rape activists. You have the option of saying no, and no means no, and it is over. You're breaking the law by continuing when someone says no. Raymond did this and confessed quickly, demonstrating his ignorance and resulting in his interrogation lasting only 10 minutes. Moving on to a confessed killer who was found not guilty due to insanity in the 2012 murder of his college classmate Asher. Potawatomi County District Attorney Richard Smothersman has stated that he will fight any chance of Murray being released. Jared Murray is a terrifying individual. I have no doubt that if he is released, he will kill again, Smotherman said after the ruling. Murray is being treated at the Oklahoma Forensic Center, which is located in Craig County, so the hearing was first held there. Murray's motion asked the court to consider releasing him from the facility and placing him in less restrictive care. However, that motion, as well as another heard in Potawatomi County as a result of the first hearing, were both denied. Murray remains a threat to society, according to County District Judge John Canavan, who is familiar with the case. Murray was charged with first-degree murder with intent to kill Gennaro Sanchez, 18, of Stewart, in December 2012. Murray and Sanchez were both freshmen at East Central University in Ada at the time of the killing, with court affidavits in the case revealing Murray told investigators early in the interrogation that he had planned to kill someone for weeks. Murray, who allegedly told investigators that he wanted to know what it was like to kill someone, confessed to the murder hours after his arrest in 2012. During Murray's preliminary hearing, a chilled taped interrogation was played in open court. Murray admitted to Potawatomi County Under Sheriff Travis Palmer, in his own words, that he shot and killed Sanchez hours after his arrest. I shot him in the head twice, Murray said in that video. Three shots were fired, one missed. During that 2012 interview, the defendant explained that he knew the victim lived in the dorms at ECU in Ada and that they met in a room of a mutual friend where they played video games. Murray allegedly offered Sanchez $20 in gas money in exchange for a ride from the dorms to the Ada Walmart. Murray pulled a gun on Sanchez and forced him to drive to Asher, where the tape shows him telling him he planned to take him out into the country and kill him.